on to know how to make a motor run with RC car circuit, so keep watching. Begin with the project. We have the batteries inside our battery holder. Like this. Yes. Then I have fit in the batteries inside the remote and I've closed it and open the front of the thing so that you can all see. Oh, this is the button. Oh, everything is there. Then I got this circuit from my old RC car and I removed this motor out. And this is an AC model, not a DC model, so no need to worry, even if you think that you might short it. If you have a DC model, please don't short, then the DC model will go. Then this uh, switch, a screwdriver for switches or something if you require some, and a glue. So first we will cut off the wires of the stuff. This is called a wire cutter. So I'm going to first, before that, I found an RC card that is the screwdriver, where screwdriver with which I can remove this nut, which is fit to this antenna to catch the um, signal. So I'm going to remove. screw away and even this antenna away. Keep my screw also away because I don't require one more. Now for the next step we will require maybe if you want you don't have wire cutting you can use a scissor but I have one so I'm going to cut using the wire cutter. One for the battery. So if you see my has been like this, behind it it will be like this or it can also be a little different so don't need to worry. Now I'm going to connect the black wire of this. to the black wire of this thing. So I'm going to first see where the black is so that I don't make a mishap and make uh, the battery's power go low. And I don't want the wire to be short so I'm going to increase a little. Just, just lift this part a little up this. Yes. 
you see three look at this in the end one will be flat when one is I have lifted it and I'm going to connect the black of that to this black so now I have soldering it on so I'm going to twist the wire around this thing and I'm going to use some tape Oh, I have got some tape, so I'm going to put it on this thing to ensure that nothing gets short. And I'm going to leave the place open and strip off the excess tape. Here it should look like this. After doing that, I'm going to connect the red wire of this circuit to the red place of the battery holder for doing that I am going to lift the hook nice like this like that like we did before and I am going to strip off the ends using the wire cutter for the inserting into the battery holder so now I am going to twist it around that thing Oh, I have twisted and completed it. So now I am again going to stick on some insulation tape. Now I have finished putting the tape for the red cable from this. So now I have to connect only the motor and if I fit on that metal rod which I had showed you before this one to capture the stuff which we do and even ready the remote all jobs will be done so now what I am going to do is fit on the motor so to fit on the motor I am going to cut down the wires and remove my car's body I am using wire cutter. You can use even scissors, optional. Sorry about the noises. Now I am going to cut the yellow wire. This thing. Yes, if you see now, I have cut them neatly. You can even see like. That yeah, I have focused it a little. So now I am going to remove my wire cutter for a while and bring in the motor. So now I am going to connect the yellow wire to the yellow wire of the motor. Yellow wire of the motor to the receiver or the circuit. And now I am going to close it and add on some tape which I have kept it in. After doing that, I am going to just twist on it so that it becomes nice like that. Now I am going to connect the green wire to the blue wire of the green wire of the motor to the blue wire of the circuit. I am going to just twist it. And because I didn't keep some tape ready, I have to cut. So sorry about the my minute or so delay. Yeah, I got on the tape. I am going to fold it so that it will be a little easy. Nice. So now, if you want, we can all try it once. Maybe it may or may not also work. I don't know. I 
now I'm going to fit on this thing to the So now I bought in my remote and I'm going to press all the switches nicely. Take my screwdriver and I'm going to ensure that my batteries are placed correctly so that I ensure nothing is short. So this is how my socket looks. A little sorry, my project remote was not found, so I found it and now I want to click the button. My straight button doesn't work, so I don't know which direction it goes, but yeah, it works. If you want, you can stick your sticker on it or a piece of insulation tape if you want to know if it is working or not. So now I will stuck the tape. So you can see when it is standing, it doesn't move. But when I just flew away. If you want, I can show you again. Beats. I'm sticking it. Even without the receiver it will work. Actually my receiver failed. But still it works when it is in a short distance. The vibration of the motor is pretty high. And that's a that's a good one. And it's also pretty fast because the batteries are too new but not So that's all guys, so you saw how to make the circuit very soon, you will even see this same circuit in the car. I am not teach the circuit but I will show you inside the car how you can fit everything together. Thank you, bye. Such a